Tuesday in Dallas means one thing, a classic confrontation. In the Southwestern Bell Cotton Bowl Classic, the 62nd installment fits the 5th-ranked UCLA Bruins, winners of their last nine against the 20th-ranked Texas A&M Aggies. And here we go from the Cotton Bowl, the 62nd on CBS Sports, and Kyle Bryant sends it away. Short kick, fielded at the goal line. Big opening up to the 30-yard line. Good return for UCLA. A 32-yard return. So onto the field for UCLA. Cade McNown, the junior left-hander from West Lynn, Oregon. Mike, he can make things happen when a play breaks down. You know, our, our counterpart, Terry Donahue, with CBS recruited him and said he reminded him a little bit of Doug Flutie, which is high praise. First down and 10 from the 32, and our first down, Skip Hicks. Defensively for UCLA, offensively rather for UCLA, Chad Overhauser, first team All-American. He's already signed on to play in the Hula Bowl in his fifth year. He will be playing in the NFL next season. And Skip Hicks, a first team All-America, along with Walendi, McElroy, Farmer, and Green. A loss of two in the last play, second down at 12 from the 30. Hicks again, straight ahead, over the 30-yard line and he's gang tackled at the 32. And for the Aggies from Texas A&M defensively, Brad Crowley, fifth-year senior, their vocal leader, also leads the D-line in tackles with Hurd and Rollins. And the linebackers, keep your eye on number nine, Jack Wynn, sensational player, only 5'11", but can go sideline to sideline, and Rich Cody, their big hitter, former walk-on at strong safety. Third down and nine from the 33. Mike Grieve in motion. And McNown throw for the first time under pressure. And he goes down at the 20-yard line. Sean Horn. Deep for Texas A&M. Dante Hall. This one angled towards the sideline. Short punt out of bounds. Texas A&M. They get great field position. Brandon Stewart, a junior from Stevensville, Texas, emerged as the starter after splitting duty the first seven games with one for transferring from Tennessee where he competed with a guy by the name of Peyton Manning for the starting job. And we see who went out on that particular situation. First down and 10 from the 49. And the Aggies showing that power running game on Tiki Hardiman. Offensively for Texas A&M, they're great. Run blocking guy, Steve McKinney, first team all Big 12. Number 72. And the backstand receivers, Tiki Hardiman, DeAndre Hardiman, gets the start along with Dante Hall in the backfield. Hardiman at fullback, he's great, running between the tackles. Second down and seven from the 48-yard line. Inside again, Hardiman going straight ahead. And for UCLA defensively, there's Ford, an undersized defensive lineman at only 243 pounds. He's got six sacks on the season. The linebacker's Brian Wilmer. He's really a tough, hard-nosed throwback linebacker. Leads the team in tackles. And the safeties, Larry Atkins and Sean Williams, two of the best in the nation. Third down and four from the 45 for Texas A&M. Stewart short drop is complete at the 40-yard line. And that's what they want to do. Originally hired in 73 by Emery Ballard. First down at 10 from the 38. Dante Hall slicing through the UCLA defensive line. Second down at five for A&M out of the eye formation. Leroy Hodge in motion. They hand it off to the first man through, and that is Tiki Hardiman. First down at 10 from the 28. First offensive drive for A&M. This afternoon, Dante Hall met in the backfield, and he second down at 10 from the 28. Seventh play of the drive for A&M. Chris Taylor in motion. Here's Stewart. Rolling is complete. Aaron Oliver with the tackle. Brandon Stewart, really tough competitor out of Stevensville, Texas. That motion again. Third down and five, running out of the pocket. Got it away, and it's complete at the 21-yard line. Kyle Bryant comes on to attempt a 38-yard field goal. He's 18 of 22 on the season, 7 of 8 from this distance. And it's wide. Oh, that hurt. That hurts A&M. 
Had all the momentum, Gus, and he's got that insane look in his eyes. First down and 10 from the 21 for Kane McDowell. Three receiver package. Shuffle. And a false start. And, and whichever one of those two schools he, he would went to, he was going to the other. First down and 15. Skip Hicks, break it out. Cuts it at the 30-yard line. Got running room. Hicks makes another one miss. And he gets up over the 45 to the 47-yard line. So a homecoming for Skip Hicks. First down from the 47. McNown in trouble. Steps up in the pocket and gets down to the McNown 6'1", 215. Really nicely built for a quarterback. Second down and four. Play action. McNown setting up in the pocket. And the sideline's incomplete. Third down and four from the 47 for UCLA. Second offensive drive of the game. McElroy in motion. McNown steps up. Runs again. Picks up the first down. First down for the Bruins inside a and territory. At their 43. Hicks again over the right side. Steps through the hole and gets inside the 40. The refugees in Arkansas before moving to Texas. Second down and six from the 39 of the sideline. Nice catch by Danny Farmer as he turns it upfield. A former UCLA football player as well. Sure. They toss it to the sideline. Skip it. And that play strung out very nice. Second down and eight from the 28. McNown underneath Mike Green, the tight end with the catch. Down to the 10-yard line inside the 10 at the 9. Double tight ends in the game now. For UCLA, the fit to Hicks and Hicks stood up and strung out and ushered out of bounds. Second down, goal to goal. They lose four on the last play, out of the eye formation. Play fake for McNown, trying to set up the screen. Picked off. That win with blockers. Pitches it, and here we go. Circus action already. Brandon Jennings down the sideline. Got a block, touchdown. And Texas A&M adds the extra point. R.C. Slocum and his Aggies coming to play. And that's a tradition here at Texas A&M. Wait, wait a minute. It's only seven points. That's, that's all right. What's up with and we've got a 7 nothing ball game, Texas A&M. And from Gus and I, we'd like to wish the best to Reggie Brown. Well, they kick it away. Jermaine Lewis at his own goal line, running straight ahead. And Lewis over the 20-yard line at the 24. Flames for success this year, holding against the Bruins. Or UCLA trailing 7-0. Out of the eye. Skip Hicks trying to follow his block. But that play snuffed out pretty good. He knows that UCLA is not the best team in the country today. Second down and eight from the 16. Play fake for McNown. The other sideline's complete. Kay McNown threw his sixth interception of the season on their last possession. First down and 10 from the 29. Leads the country in passing efficiency as Skip Hicks get it on the action. CBS.sportsline.com. Second down and 10 from the 29. McNown again is complete. McNown, three of six, 41 yards, third down and long. Here they come. Here comes the blitz. McNown steps up, delivers, incomplete. Five. Low line drive, returnable. Hall at the 35, reverses field. Flags on the play as he goes down at the 32-yard line. They're going to lose 15. An illegal block against the Aggies. I'm sure he'd rather be playing football now than watching this game, even though it's UCLA. All right, Mike. Mike really putting him on the spot there, asking him about coaching decisions on national television. All right. Whether or not they can get back to that level. Second down and 10 from the 22 out of the eye formation for the Aggies. Leading 7 to nothing. Sir Parker in the game at tailback. All time winning as head coach in the history of the Aggie program. Third down and five. Stewart under pressure and he goes down. Damon Smith, Shane Leckler, averages 47 yards per punt in the send it away wobbly kick. 
And it detons it away. And Eric Scott does get away from the football. So a little frustrated with his offense so far. The pitch to Hicks at the 40-yard line. And he tiptoes out of bounds at the... For Skip Hicks, second down and four. Play fake. McNown under pressure again. And guess who got him? It's that win. Loss of nine, third down and a long 13 for the Bruins. Out of the gun. McNown underneath. And it's caught. One of the best in the country. Picked up 17 there. First down from the 48. Skip Hicks. Between the tackles, spins down. And that's the end of the first quarter of play with the Aggies leading the Bruins 7 0. We'll return to the Southwestern Bell Cotton Bowl right after this message and a word from your local station. And a time of possession, 9 0 3 in the favor of UCLA, but they are scoreless. Second down and nine from the AM 47. And it's incomplete, intended for McElroy. McNown, four of nine, 59 yards and one interception. Third down and long. Into the flats, and it's Hicks with the catch at the 40. Picks up the first down, dips his head in there, and spins inside the 35-yard line. He's got great hands. First down from the 34. Play fake again, the pocket breaks down. And McNown somehow got out of there. Catch the ball. And it's incomplete intended for Danny Farmer. McNown audibling at the line of scrimmage. Nobody in the hole. Trying to set up the screen. Breaks down. Thick. Dangerous play by McNown. Nice play of the drive. Third down and 10. And the 34. Here they come. McNown standing strong in the pocket, going into the end zone. Incomplete. Back. Holding on the offense. Ten yards from the spot of the foul. Repeat third down. 29 long yards to go from their own 48. McNown rolling, looking back side. Trying to hit the home run. Farmer incomplete. He's overthrown. Third punt of the game for Saylor. This one high, wobbly kick. Fair catch signal by Dante Hall. And Texas A&M. What was Fordham doing in the Cotton Bowl? I'll get off of Fordham. They're all right. <laughs> First down to 10 from the 16 for A&M. Third Parker. Bounce to get outside. Got a blocker around the corner. Parker at the 30. Put his head down over the 35. Up to the 37. Texas A&M two-headed monster at tailback. Dante Hall and Sir Parker. Parker has rushed for close to 900 yards on the season. From the 37, Tiki Hardiman pounding straight ahead over the 45, up to the 47. A lot of people think Nebraska is the best team in the country, Gus. Second down and one from the 46. Inside, Hardiman again. and First down from the 49 for AM. Sir Parker skipping through the hole, and he goes backwards. Second down and eight, UCLA showing blitz inside handoff. Parker with a running room, but look at the pursuit by this UCLA defense. A senior from Lakeview Terrace, California. Third down and eight from the 48. Screen pass, and it's incomplete. On for the Bruins. And he got off a pretty nice one. Scott letting it go into the end zone, but it's down inside the five-yard line. All right, Mike. Aaron Glenn signing a very lucrative contract to play for the New York Jets. One of the highest paid defensive backs. Second down and nine. McNown in trouble. Oh! Zarek Rollins got to him. Third sack of the game. And Bob Toledo is shocked right now at how his UCLA team is playing. Instead of putting the ball away, Chris Saylor decides to key it up and kick off. That's and here's Sir Barkle at the 13. Parker trying to get outside. He does at the 40. Getting done by the defense, Gus Johnson. Fewer points 
and UCLA scored this season 27 against Stanford on November 1st. Brandon Stewart out of the pocket, and he tip goes out of bounds. Second down and 10 from the 40 for a and Dante Hall outside, jitterbugging. Over the 45, up to the 46. Third down and three from the 47. It's off the hall, and it'll be about a yard shy of the first down. Leckler at the 35. Eric Scott, fair catch signal, and it's down! No! No! 54 to 15, and they look totally different since then. UCLA over the 20-yard line up to USC and fell in love with UCLA, and the rest, as they say, is history. UCLA offered him a scholarship. now going down. Holdman, third down and 16. And a quick punt by McNown. That's a great play. And it takes a UCLA bounce. Look at this. He had one punt earlier this season for 67 yards in the same exact situation. That's his second punt. That's a beauty. All the way down to the 10-yard line. That last play, a 76-yard quick kick by Cade McNown. And UCLA back Texas a and up to the 10-yard line. Stewart rolling out of the pocket, throwing off one foot, and it's off at the 25. 25 catches coming into this game. And motion again. Second down. And an inside handoff. Not a lot of room. Getting blown out of this one so far in the first half of play. AM leading it 16 to nothing. What a great block by the left guard, Steve McKinney. And it's 16 to nothing. AM ranked number 20, leading the fifth ranked Bruins. Short kick picks up back the 15. UCLA was it was walk on Chad Franz and making a play. Skip Hicks trying to get outside. Dumps it back in over the 30. That's where that great walk-on 12th man tradition began at Texas A&M. And that's why the core always stands the entire game ready to help. Entire student body. And this is Farmer. Game, if you haven't had a chance to watch Shamiqua Holdslaw, people say that by the end of her career, she could be the best female basketball player ever. Second down and nine from the 36 for UCLA. Skips the lone setback. Picks the lone setback and a whistle. Mm. The snap. Ball start on the offense. Five yard penalty. Just Still way out of <laughs> Today for Texas A&M. Second down and long. Here they come. Here's the screen again. Got it to Hicks. And he's this one behind by the little general. And he's learned a lot. In a hurry. They come again. Now stepping up. Scrambling. And is wrapped up at the 35. And won 74 yards. At his own 20. Low punt. Fair catch signal haul at the 25. First half scores analysis. And they will get you caught up on all the bowl scores and highlights. The pitch, third Parker. Trying to cut it back. And over the 25. Up in run the football and not turn it over. Second down and seven from the 28. Inside hand off Tiki Artiman and Artiman stacked up at the line of scrimmage. First half of play. Third down and three from the blitz. Double tight. Third Parker wrapped up in the backfield and goes down. Weldon Ford. Leckler sends it away. Low line drive kick sends Eric Scott Backpedal to the 20, drops it, kicks it up. Got a wall. Got a wall. 
Made one guy miss at the 30. Midfield out of bounds. Inside Texas A&M territory. Cade McNow with 45 seconds to get some points on the board. Uh, underneath, incomplete, no flags on the play. Rich Cody, there we go. Late. Boy, was, that was a late, late flag right there. Three receiver package in the game for UCLA. To the near side. Oh, and he is drilled and unable to hang on to the... Annie Farmer hazed and unable to hold on. Here's McDonald again, 33 seconds to go. In trouble, staying on his feet, looking down the field. Farmer once again, nowhere to go. This time, Roland Bradley, UCLA, with the ball, third down at 13 from the AM 42. They need to at least get points on the board before halftime. McDonald, here pressure underneath, and a great catch by Farmer. First down from the 22. McNown. Oh! Dangerous pass. It's juggled and out of bounds. Oh, man, you don't throw that football. Nine seconds to go. Second down and ten from the 22 in the first half of play. UCLA down. 16 nothing. McNown will give it a shot into the end zone. Wide open. Oh, man. Touchdown. Horrible job by AM. Jimmy McElroy scores. 22 yarder. <laughs> corner at the end of the half like that and the extra point is good Cedric Curry the sophomore allow McElroy to get behind him he picked up his tip touchdown McNown recognizes it sees it the whole way it's just a soft flip that's a very poor job of recognition number one by a and m that was a huge play and the squib kick Picked up by Dante Hall. Hall got a block, and that is the end of the first half of play. So UCLA, who looked almost dead, scores with two seconds remaining, a 22-yard touchdown strike. Cade McNown to Jim McElroy. And they get on the board and trail 16 to 7. Huge, huge series for UCLA to get away not only just the field goal, but the big touchdown reception in the last play of the half. Sir Parker from the goal line. Parker up to the 20 where he is knocked backwards. And so far, that's what UCLA has done today. Stewart in the first half, 4 of 6, only 30 yards. No interceptions, no touchdowns. Passing on first down. Got it away, almost intercepted. And that's what they've been, base offense all game. Stewart sprinting out again. The sideline incomplete. Larry Hodge, the intended receiver. Chris Taylor, wide to the far side. Cold to the near side. Out of the pro set. Here they come. There's a blitz. Stewart goes down. Dan Juan McGee, the senior. Leckler at his own one. Eric Scott back deep. Low. Wobbly kick. Picked up at the 50-yard line. Scott breaks the first tackle. Trying to get outside. And he is finally corralled. Oh, their best starting field position of the game at the AM 45. Hicks in motion. Empty backfield for McNown. Short drop. Underneath. Complete. As Farmer. No, no, no. Not that. Second down and five from the 40. The pitch, Skip Hicks spins, and Hicks is met by a sea of burgundy jerseys. Because once you sit down and immobilize it, then the swelling takes over and it's hard to move around. I understand. Checking guys like James Lofton, you would get some <laughs> twisted ankles. Here's McMahon. Uh -oh. Got a receiver. Touchdown! And that Skip Hicks leaked out of the backfield. 41-yard score. And here come the Bruins. on a and first series and the offense puts it in the end zone and the extra point is good 
You've got a ball game. This is one of UCLA's favorite plays. They fake it to Hicks and then throw it back to him, hoping to get a linebacker in coverage, which is exactly what happened. It was Warwick Holdman, and Hicks dances into the end zone. We've got a ball game. Scoring in three plays in a minute and 22 seconds, and now trail by two. And this ball out of bounds, and a and with the ball and a new quarterback. And they've got to get back into their offense now. McCown, a sophomore from Jacksonville, Texas. Inside hands off Tiki Hardiman. He'll pick up a couple. And the numbers on Randy McCown so far this season. Alternated with Brendan, Brandon Stewart, rather, for the beginning of the season, the first seven games. Third down and seven from the 38. And m one of seven on third down conversions this afternoon. And a penalty flag. Before the snap, false start on the offense. Five-yard penalty. Still second down. But, Gus, these two teams look like they switched jerseys at halftime. Third down and 12 from the 33. Chris Cole, the motion man. And it is caught at the 45-yard line on fourth down and an inch going for it. Watch quarterback sneak or Tiki Hardeman. And a first down. That was a key first down for A&M here, guys. First down. From their own 46. And Sir Parker wrapped up at the line of scrimmage. Second down and nine. From the 47 for Texas A&M. McCown delivers. Nice catch. Chris Cole. A terrific game plan so far by R.C. Slocum's bunch. But you can feel UCLA coming on. Inside handoff, Tiki Hardeman. Good hit. Oh, where to go? Good hit. I believe his forward progress. They brought in a new defensive coordinator who's aggressive, and they've changed their whole physicality. They really are an aggressive, tough football team. First down from the 43. Here's a Woo! Oh, with a big lane. And what a play selection by the Aggies. Touchdown. run by Chris Cole the sophomore from Orange Texas the extra point is good and once again <laughs> and that's the young man we told you had to make plays for Texas A&M to win the football game Shake. All right. gentlemen a couple of long distance calls from the Aggies today all right Mike here's Lewis inside his own 10 Got a seam at the 30-yard line, stumbles ahead, almost broke that one. CLA with the ball, first down and 10 at their own 33. Skip Hicks trying to pop it outside, but nothing doing. Second down and long. Cade McNown looking downfield. Throwing up between double coverage, almost intercepted. Oh, catch the football. Third down and 10. Underneath, incomplete. Ball intended for the freshman, Holly Dixon, back deep at his own 27. High spiraling kick, sending Hall back to the 15-yard line where he starts, and he is wrapped up at the 23. Joe Paterno really wasn't happy about that. First down for Texas A&M, 23-14. They lead 7.28 to go in the third quarter of play. And McCown dancing out of the pocket, tucks it, and is knocked out of bounds at the 20. Second down and 13, a loss of three on the last play for McCown. Goal in motion, they hand it to the second man through. <laughs> Didn't look real happy right there, though, did he, Gus? Third down and 11. And this time, the Aggies remaining conservative at the 12. Eric Scott at his own 29. 
high spiraling kick. This is a beauty. Scott at the 25. Hurdles one defender trying to break it outside and is swung out of bounds and so on. UCLA taking over. First down and 10 from the 35. Delayed handoff. Skip Hicks. Plenty of room as he stumbles forward to the 40-yard line. Or number 42. Father Charles. Here's Hicks again. Got a uh -oh. seam at the 50. And knocked out of bounds at the 40, but a flag on the play. Holding on the offense. 10 yards from the spot of the foul. Repeat second down. With this high-powered attack, McNown rolling across his body complete at the 40-yard line. It's McElroy, and you can see the burst. First down from the 49. Hicks and nowhere to go. You cannot say enough about Mike Hankowitz's preparation for this game on defense. Here's McNown down the field. He's got Farmer. A flag is on the play. The catch stands. So you know he's got a little hip. On the defense. 15 yards from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Or not because they call the penalty here. Good job by Jennings trying. Look at the catch there. That's just a great catch. First down and 10 from the 37 for the Bruins. They trailed this entire game. Here comes the reverse pass. The pass. Farmer down the field. They're going to call him. Incomplete. There was contact on the play. No flags. T formation. Now they show a wing T set in there. Hicks in motion, empty backfield for McNown. Short drop, got it away, Grieve. Great catch at the 25. A lot happening. <laughs> Junior out of San Jose. Another first down from the 25, Hicks this time. And the hole closed up on him. Now, you know what, if you're a player, you're a player. I don't want to hear how big you are. Here's a counter, uh -oh. reverse. McElroy trying to get around the corner, does, out of bounds. But Texas A&M smelled that play out pretty nicely. Third down and five. Option. McNown keeps it. Spins. Got the first down. Still on his feet. Smell of the end zone. Touchdown. And the extra point is good. A lot of people compare K. McDonald to Steve Young as the rain begins to fall here at the Southwestern Bell Cotton Bowl in Dallas, Texas. The scoring drive, eight plays, 65 yards, as they held it for three minutes and eight seconds. And a short kick popped up. Uh -oh. Takes a bounce, and it's picked up luckily by Texas A&M. Has been in there replacing him, has not made any mistakes so far. To the far side, it's complete. Cole lost it, got it back, and somehow hung on as he's tackled out of bounds. All right. Brendan, a junior from Santa Cruz. Second down and four. Here's Dante Hall, and he is wrapped up by Marcus Anderson. How about AM running for 183 yards, though? That's, that's a great effort by that offensive line of AM. First down from the 29 for the Aggies. Inside handoff, Tiki Hardeman, and touchdown, Tiki. The starting quarterback. Second down and five. Here comes the blitz. Dante Hall trying to find a hole at the line of scrimmage. But third down and five for Texas A&M from their own 34. Play action. The count underneath. And Hardeman just couldn't hang on. Standing deep at his own 17. High short kick. Scott comes up, let it go, ball picked up, and it looks like it's recovered by AM. A flag is on the play. Here comes the kick. Scott, at the last minute, there's the, the obvious penalty, but it hits number 12 right there. Live Jason ball. Bell, that's a live football. It certainly looks to me like Curry comes Curry up with it. Curry got it. I mean, come on, that's, unless he, let's see what they say. Illegal block in the back on the receiver. Half the distance to the goal. First down. That's, that's a loose ball. First down and 10 from the 10-yard line for UCLA. And earlier, 
So that's the end of the third quarter of play as the Texas A&M Aggies lead the Bruins from UCLA 23-21. We'll return to the Southwestern Bell Cotton Bowl Classic right after this message and a word from your local station. So the Bruins take over. Second down. McNow faking the pitch, rolling, buying time. Turns it upfield and is tackled from behind by Brad Crowley. He's got a bum rap. He might not be Tommy Frazier, but man, is he good. Third down and short. The option. McNow turns it up and picks up the first down. McNown looking for Hicks. Great catch, Hicks, and he's wrapped up at the 41. But this play coming all the way back for UCLA. McNown in trouble again. Second down and 32 for UCLA from their own one. Here's Hicks in the backfield. Hicks barely got out of the end zone. Third down and 32. Ball inside the one. McNown underneath. It's caught. Holly Dixon, the freshman. And he'll give UCLA room. 12-yard oh. line. Low spiraling line drive kick. Dante Hall back. Picks it up at the 27. Ooh. Got a great block. What a block by number 27. Watch what happens. 27. There's number 20, Damian Allen. Watch 27 just laying in the weeds. Bang. That's called an ear hole. That's exactly what happened right there. AM, first down at 10 from their own 32. The handoff, so Parker got a block. Bounced it outside, cut it back in, and is up close to the 40 yard line. Ports line. Second down and short for the Aggies. Number 40, Leroy Hodge in motion. The pitch to Sir Parker, got a block. Did not get through the hole, though. Good showing there and does well at the combine. He's a surefire first-round pick. Third down and one. Straight ahead. I don't know. And, I don't know. and it'll be iffy. I don't think he got it. The most. Leckler. Spiraling kick. Sending Eric Scott back to the 13. Straight ahead. Looking for daylight, ran into one of his own teammates and squirms his way ahead to the 29-yard line. Had hypothermia in the third quarter, went in the locker room, a little chicken soup, and came out and led a great comeback. On the 29, the pitch, Skip Hicks, with a blocker in front of him. And he is second down and five from the 34. Here's a screen, nice catch, Molly Dixon, the freshman. And he jitterbugs his way close to a first down. With 8.38 to go in the fourth quarter. McDonald audibly, four along the play clock, got it away. Skip Hicks straight ahead, lowers the boom, and father played in the National Football League. Graduated from Memphis. Second down and five from the 44. Play action again. McDonald going downtown. He's got a wide open receiver. And what a play! Brandon Jennings somehow coming all the way across the field. If you're beat, you get to the player. Don't even look at the football. Third down and five for UCLA. McNown. And it's caught. First down. McElroy with the catch. Stepping out of bounds. 7.42 to go in the fourth quarter. Skip Hicks. And Skip Hicks down the sideline. Great play by the UCLA offensive line. First down for UCLA. At the AM 29. Hicks the other way this time. Breaks a tackle on his feet. Skip Hicks at the 10. Stumbles down to the 5. UCLA knocking on the door. Down by 2. The reverse. Newfeld, the backup tight end. Touchdown.
And look, they're going to go for two. AM showing blitz. McNabb, quarterback draw. Got it. Great call. Puts him up six and a touchdown. He had four catches this year, but there's the handoff. Everybody reacts the other way. Newfeld just dances into the end zone for his second touchdown of the season. All passed, and he had to go to California. His star has continued to rise today as well. Sir Parker, at the 20, broke a tackle. Sir Parker still on his feet and is finally dragged down. A lot of time remaining, though, 6.52. A&M for the first time, though, playing from behind. Here come. And McCown got it off, and he throws it almost intercepted. Jason Nevodomsky has... When you think about Brandon Stewart and whether or not he can go. Fourth sack of the game for UCLA. Second down and 17. Outside. McCown breaking contain. And he's pushed forward by the Bruins over the 30-yard line, up to the 33. From the 32-yard line, getting all of his shout-outs in. <laughs> From mom and everybody at home. Here's McCown setting up for the sideline. Nice catch out of bounds, but short of the first down. And the they say he juggled it. Shane Leckler, ninth punt of the game. Wobbly kick. Scott at the 21. And Scott gets up to the 30 before being driven backwards. First down and 10 from UCLA from their own 30. There's a corner bit blitz. They get it to Hicks, breaks it back. Hicks at the 40, trying to get outside and is over the midfield line. First down and 10 from the Aggie 49 for UCLA. Jermaine Lewis, the scat back, and he breaks the tackle, refuses to go down, and double tight ends for UCLA. The pitch to Hicks, following his blocks, and he stumbles ahead. Third down and one for the Bruins. Skip Hicks, the deep back, they give it to him, and it is... Yeah, they've got about a half a yard, Gus. 17 tackles for Dat Wynn. Fourth and inches. Straight ahead. Wow. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> this is the mark of the ball game right here. This is it. Wow. He got it. Inches. Clock running. 2.34 to go. First down from the 39 for UCLA. The pitch to Skip Hicks. And that win. What a terrific football player. Second down and 14 for the Bruins. 149. 39 to go, rather. Skip Hicks straight ahead again. And he picks up a bunch. Here's Hicks again. Looking for the first down, and he won't get it, and is... He's inbounds. He's inbounds. UCLA punts it away, and the ball goes into the end zone, so with a minute and five, 80 yards standing in the way for Randy McCown, the backup quarterback from Jacksonville, Texas, fumbles the ball, picked up, and that's not the way you want to start the drive. Out of the shotgun. comes the rush and he goes down. Okay, once again, a loss of nine on that play. 21 seconds to go. McCown looking deep on the sideline intercepted. Larry Atkins, sixth interception of the season. And the UCLA Bruins. Cade McNown, the final snap of the football game, and that is it. UCLA pulls off the second largest comeback in Cotton Bowl history. Coming back from 16 points to beat Texas A&M 29-23. They finish the season 10-2. from the 
62nd Southwestern Bell Cotton Bowl Classic. The UCLA Bruins have come back to beat the Aggies 29-23.